I've got mad goosebumps everywhere. If there's people out here, they're not wanting to be known. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou shalt be done. As Fuck it off. Welcome to Walking Among Us. I'm Hauntingly Krista. And I'm Bearded Zombie. That was new. Hello everyone and welcome to Walking Among Us. What's happening fam? I'm Hauntingly Krista. I'm Bearded Zombie. And today we're taking you to a cemetery. Dun dun dun! Where did we go, Wraith? I don't know. We went to Salem Cemetery in good old Ajax on Terrible. Ajax on just for future reference, anybody watching this that doesn't know the town of Ajax, they don't sound like that. Coffee delivery service. Thank you, Just Kelly. Yeah, you're welcome. She may not be investigating with us, but He's she makes serving. she <laughs> makes a hell of a pumpkin spice flavored coffee and does a lot of shit for us in the background. That is god dang delicious. It's pumpkin spice season, bitches! For this episode, we went to the Salem Cemetery in Ajax, and honestly, we weren't really sure what to expect. Outdoor locations, there's so many factors, but cemeteries in specific, there, there are some that are said to be haunted, but honestly, for the most part, cemeteries just aren't. Like, people aren't usually sticking around where they yeah. are buried. We were kind of just like, you know what, it's a cemetery, we haven't done one in a while. There are stories. There are stories of Salem Cemetery, so let's just kind of figure out what's, what, yeah. what's happening. We just wanted to know, we wanted to go and test, you know, test the, the waters yeah. and actually investigate it and see if we could communicate with anything. And um, this place shocked us. I, uh, yeah. Quite, quite a lot. This place, there was, it was a pleasant surprise, I would say. Uh, pleasant's an interesting word. There are a few reasons that a cemetery could be haunted. Either, you know, there was some sort of building or something about the land, potentially, maybe a tragic event happened. There's another reason cemeteries could be haunted and that is uh, because it's a cemetery it brings uh, lots of different people with lots of different intentions things can get conjured what's up <laughs> we are here at today's location which is Salem Cemetery in Ajax Ontario featuring a moth that's a good sign it is a good sign but he's annoying me he's already hit me like three times setting up the lighting joys of nighttime shoots in Outdoors. a pitch black field with one street light like, over here you guys don't even we're in like the middle of nowhere like, can you, that's what we see that there's this one street light we're hearing voices i'm attributing some sort of party pause over for in car the speed demons game on again i'm attributing that not to paranormal but to some sort of possible bush or house party there's voices that are like kind of close it, like across the street it's, and it's not consistent it seems close but we are in an open field area i don't know tombstones and some buildings it sounds gonna bounce i've tried calling out a couple times which might not have been a smart but yeah she starts <laughs> a hello i'm like really <laughs> this, is, this is how <laughs> people like me get killed first in horror movies no one responded so i don't know it could be paranormal it could be people we we're gonna write it off as we're gonna people. hopefully not find out yeah there's quite a few different ghost stories and legends here there are and we're gonna see if we encounter a man possibly a little girl there has been a lot of sightings of apparitions here and other mysterious happenings so we shall see what we see but um i think we should get the show on the road let's see what happens let's get it i've just kind of been waiting around while rafe um finishes getting his IR light set up on his camera and I walked over there to kind of get some footage of just like the church and the cemetery and all that stuff and I don't know I'm just There's hearing a lot of shit over here man like people That's not coyotes dude no That's, you're hearing people I'm hearing people what's weird about this to the, me the closest house is pardon my smoke but the closest well, house is far away what's down this way there's nothing it's all blurry. Why isn't it focusing? Hold on, let me just cut this for a sec. 
Yeah, so like, there's part of the cemetery over there. This is mainly where I think we're gonna focus. This is all dark, sorry guys. But cemetery, there's the old church there. We're hearing voices coming from like, it feel, it sounds like it's coming from over there. But like Rafe said, it, you know, it's an open field. There's tombstones and stuff. Voices can like echo. But I don't know if they can echo like, because it, it always sounds like it's coming from that particular section. Yeah, I'm not hearing them from it's anywhere always else. It's coming from the exact same section. Which is like, <laughs> there. What, what's over there? We kind of strolled our way over there a little bit. Like field, like cornfield, but there's a bush there. That's that's the weird part is that, that's just like at first I could see, okay, how you thought it was coyotes talking to each other. Maybe, because it last, sounds kind of like the last, the last set before we started no. filming, the yeah. last set that we heard, there was two bangs yes. and the voices were prevalent. More so than not, it sounds like voices. Like it sounds like people talking. Is it impossible that it's paranormal? No, but obviously it's more likely to be humans. I'm thinking but it's, yeah. But what are they doing there? Is, is that like, a, obviously your first initial instinct was bush party, but if it was a bush party, like when we were at Boston Mills, there was a bush party. There was consistent talking and there's consistent music. If there's people out here. They're not wanting to be known. They, there's no light. I can't see anything. All I hear is like a weird, muffled talking. Do I want to, do I want to say the word it's almost chanting like? When we started investigating, it started off like kind of normal. It wasn't anything super crazy, but we're like, okay, we can work with this. Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. We did some spirit box uh, sessions near the, the church on the property and we got some stuff. Pause for... We are out front of the old closed down church and um, we're gonna be doing a spear box session. Let me in please. We got the old ass box and Let's see if any spirits want to come Let's through. See what happens. Is there any spirits here with us? Oh there's something came through there. Yeah. Very lightly. My name's Krista. My name's Ray. What's your name? It's not the cold goosebumps. Oh. Are you making them have goosebumps? Why aren't you talking to us? Is there anybody that wants to communicate? There's something trying. But it's very, very quiet and very, very muffled. Is there anybody here that wants to speak to us? Um, What's your name? <laughs> the fuck was that? That sounded like bushes rustling. Hold on. Could be an animal too, there's raccoons and shit. That's what's worrying me right now is a coyote. What message do you have for us? The woman? He's like banging and shit. One of us. One of us. There was something that moved between those tombstones. Okay, maybe it was a light. Maybe it was a light. Okay. A car. I'm gonna say it was that. Can you hear us? What message do you have for us? We need to start making our way into the cemetery because like yeah. this is a lot. Hello, hello. Should they wave to us? <laughs> no, I'm just waving. Stuff. Hello. <laughs> oh god. We need to move locations. Okay. This isn't the vibe right now. It's way too busy. Oh man. Hold on. My guts are going nuts right now. Are you pooping? I know you're pooping. Remember we were talking about our gut feelings? Yeah. It's the, you shouldn't be doing this gut feeling and where I feel sick. Did you hear that? It, they sounded closer. Yeah, big time. See, this is all open field down here. Yeah. I'd rather go to the other side of the street where the voices are coming from, never mind. 
I'm hearing shit. Something's just not sitting right in me, man. Like there's rustling, like. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, it could just be a your typical animal. Can't see shit. I need my good flashlight back. Where did we lose that? Reef, put the light on up there. Maybe we're too far from the car. Well, we're gonna have to wander. What was that? Okay, dude. <laughs> See, I'm automatically hearing voices right away. There has to be a bush party. Did you just hear that? I heard a voice say, yeah. I heard a voice say, yeah. Is anyone in here? Hello? Now, we don't have any solid determination on a prevalent spirit that haunts the grounds. Yeah. Just apparitions. Yeah. So we don't even know like who we would be going to talk to. Yeah, that's pure bush. Get yeah, closer. there's a fence there. I feel better here just because there's a fence behind us. That makes you feel better? Somewhat. The voices are still happening over there. Why? Voices are still happening over there. Let's go towards the voices. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the, the vibe. Okay, so it's fence stop. This is the corner. And the fence goes over there. Mm -hmm. I just want to like debunk. My feet are so... Oh, this is a cornfield. Dude, are we hearing like children in the corn shit? Is anyone in here? Hello? Who's out there? Hi, sisters! <laughs> what is going on? This is messed up. Okay, this is I. Messed up. Here's the thing. My thing with this place is I mean, there's a lot of ghost stories online, but there's also people saying that they've been here. People have said they've experienced things, obviously, which is why we're here. But upon doing our research on our way here, we came to realize that a lot of people have come here and investigated and determined that it's not haunted. Yeah. Let's also, let's also spit out the fact of what we believe in cemeteries. Yes. Now, barring Boston Mills and one other that we haven't investigated yet. Yeah. We don't believe that cemeteries are always truly haunted. No. Um, because that's where your For the most part, they're not. For the most part, that's where your body's laid to rest. People's spirits tend to haunt locations where they've been happiest in their life, where Maybe they tragedy were, where a tragedy occurred, something along those lines. Yeah. So I can understand, and I hope some of you understand mm -hmm. why we feel that way. People have had experiences. That's why we come to these places. We come yeah. to check it out and investigate for ourselves. And, and let you guys know what we find, if anything. So, I mean, so far, it, paranormally, unless these voices are actual paranormal, but that's so hard to determine. This place so far, I'm getting the vibe, not so haunted, but it is giving me the fucking creeps because well, I feel like- We're in a cemetery in the middle of the night. But I like, I just don't like, it's the people. It's always fucking people. Like yeah. people freak me the fuck out. I don't even, I could care less about the coyotes to be honest. It's fucking people. Because the voices we're hearing, it's like it was over there. There's clearly nothing over but there. But then it's over here. So it's but like, are you playing games there, with but us? then it's over there. Like what is going on? Wait a second. What? Where are you going? Unless you're going to get snacky snacks. I was going to go home. No! No! You're not going home. Grab your snack. He's not letting me go. She doesn't have a snack because she's not prepared. He's not letting me go home. <coughs> <coughs> oh. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode thus far. I am! Well, I should goddamn well hope so. You were there filming it. Guys, make sure you're smashing the subscribe button. Hit Smash that. The subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Turn on your post notification bell. Drop some comments. Get your snacky snacks. Get your pumpkin spice. Get your pumpkin drink. And get ready for the rest of the episode. Get ready for the rest of the Okay, that's it. We're done. I'm not, I'm not letting this drag on anymore. Rafe's just setting up the lights right now. I just heard from over there where we were just at, like where the cornfield was. Um, it sounded like, oh, like, like little laughter. It could be laughter from kids, but it also could be like 
coyotes. I don't know if they make that noise, do they? I don't think so. I don't know. But like, it's so fucking close. Like, it's like right over there. And then as soon as I said that, Spirit Talker said, listen for my voice. And of course I wasn't recording because we were getting set up, but that's what's going on, so. <laughs> What? What? I'm just like hearing shit everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. We moved locations. We'd love to speak to you. Are you buried in the cemetery? My name is Rafe. My name is Krista. Do you want to come through and speak to us? Come close, this device will hear you. It'll let us hear you. Just like you just did. Are you passing through? One man here. One man here. That goes with the legend of the man. Yeah. Okay, so here. Now let's let's zero in on him. Okay. There's said to be a man that's seen around this cemetery. Are you close to us right now? Can you come speak to us? I'm very friendly. I'm very friendly, it says. Can you come and speak to us? There's something trying to come through, but yeah. it's very faint. Can you come closer to us so we can hear you? Why are you here? Oh, Whoa, something. Something. it was a man too. Can you repeat that a little slower and clearly? It's okay, we're not here to harm you, we're not here to get rid of you. We just want to communicate with you. Taylor could be Taylor. an older name too. Put a bit around. Is your name Taylor? That almost sounds like a female voice coming through. Whoever's trying to talk to us, can you come closer so we can hear you more clearly? Oh, that's not the word you want to see. <laughs> But you know what? Considering we were Hold just on. talking about either a coven or a cult. That, it was very blurry. I'm sorry guys, it said satanic. Um, well, not only that, but also another reason a lot of people, because of the fact that a lot of cemeteries aren't haunted because of what we were just speaking about, a lot of the time, things that come through at cemeteries are conjured. conjured. Um, yeah. Because of people doing what we do but not knowing what they're doing so well not only that concerning. but performing ritualistic type of yeah. situations is is more, more where my head goes um i'm just trying to figure out like should we do estes i'm going to say the end only because i think we should do it now i mean yeah i because someone's singing dude do you hear that shit? I fucking hear that. Give me a second, I'm going off camera. You stay here. No, no I'm coming. Is some, maybe, maybe someone's singing. Wait, don't leave me alone here. Is there anybody out there? Use, use a, a man voice. What the fuck am I using? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, but Is like... there anybody out there? <laughs> no, more like this, more like this. <laughs> All you're doing is pissing off the guard dogs now. <laughs> They're like, my kin got out. How do I get there? Then we decided to do the good old Estes method. Yeah. And 
something interesting, something that you guys should know actually about kind of the post-production of our episodes. Uh, Rafe will go through and he will watch footage and he'll make notes on different things. I'll also do the same thing, but I rely on him mostly for notes. Um, I didn't do that. He didn't do that for this because no. we actually filmed only on my camera. For once. For and once. and you know what the odd part about that is it's nighttime shooting so mm -hmm. we never use Krista's camera because it doesn't have night vision. We figured out a whole new lighting scheme mm -hmm. and everything and we're It like, actually works out really well. Yeah, it worked out awesome. Yeah. But the problem is I didn't have any footage to review. Chris yeah. has got it all. I'm going to talk for like yeah. 10 seconds yeah. because you're basically taking over this filler because <laughs> I have no idea what happened. So I go under and I want you to put your your perception on it after. Mm -hmm. I go under in Estes and I'm getting eaten alive by bugs and I don't know what's going on and I'm hearing just random gibberish and I'm like, okay, well, at least stuff is coming through. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good, right? None of it makes sense. It's probably a, a bull spit episode of Estes and it's going to make no sense, but it's good quality entertainment and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Then I come out and... I'm freaking out. <laughs> losing her shit. I'm losing my losing mind it. because it was a really good Estes session. I, at this point, we've done so many Estes sessions and we've had a lot of really great Estes sessions. So I don't even know... I don't know if I can, it's definitely one of the top, that's just in my opinion. Um, I haven't seen crap, but yeah. I'll put it in the top three from the way she describes it. <laughs> he hasn't seen anything, so he doesn't know anything except for what I'm talking about right now. And also I kind of gave like a little recap when I was, you know, when we finished. He still, he does not know. We were communicating with something that was 100% conjured. And like, that's kind of what ties everything back to Cemeteries aren't usually haunted. There's a couple of reasons, but that being one of them conjuring being one of them every kind of response that we were getting It was just pointing in that direction and things got dark Apparently it went off the rails and were real quick. I don't know how long you want to leave me under I will judge it. <laughs> so this is do okay. this on this shoulder. Yeah, okay All right, so Ray I can hear you okay. Smith Rafe just went under um, and he has earphones in. Um, so now if there's a message that you have for him that you want to come forth and share, he should be able to hear you better. Can you tell me how you died? Or maybe tell me why you're here? They were here. Who's they? Satan. No, none of that. They here? Who's here? Did something bad happen here? Worship. Was there a worship, a cult, a ritual that took place? Smith. Did Smith lead this ritual? Who is Smith? Let them go. Let who go? We're not keeping anyone here. If you want to go, you can go. But I would love it if you would tell me maybe why you're stuck here. Why? Why? I would just, you know, I would like to know. Who are you? My name is Krista and this is Rafe. And we are paranormal investigators. We do this. We go to places and we try You to... should go. Probably we should. But we want to kind of learn a little bit more about this place. Before... Oh, that was loud. Leave! We heard this place was haunted and some other people said that it wasn't. So... Don't try. I thought I saw something behind me in the viewfinder. Satan. Why do you keep saying that? I don't believe that anything like that is here. And if there is something like that, it was conjured here. Worship. Can you tell me who brought you here? Or what brought you here? Women. Women did? Was it a group of women? Nancy. Nancy? Leave. Why do you want us to leave so badly? We have a few more things that we want to do, but we want Not to safe. Okay. Can you tell us why? You should go. Can you tell us why it's not safe? Can you tell us why we should go? Besides just saying Satan and like these fear-mongering things, tell us why. Is there a name of someone we should be afraid of? He's coming. Who is he? Is he who we should be afraid of? Smith. Smith. Okay, so Smith is someone we should be afraid of? Is Smith isn't the real name, is it? There's another name. No. No. No, it's not. Okay, tell me the real name. 
Right now. No. No? I demand you to tell me your real name. Right Smith. now. Smith. It's not. You're lying to me. I don't like liars. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I cast out anything that is not of light. Go away. <laughs> no. I have chills, like full body goosebumps, guys. Hail Mary, full of grace, and something else. I don't remember the rest of it. I think it. I just heard a kid laughing. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Sounded like a kid laughing anyway. Smith. Okay, who is Smith? Are you, that is not your real name. I know that's not your real name. And I'm not gonna leave until you tell me your real fucking name. Sorry. But I know you're not They're human. coming. I know you're not human. He can hear us. Yes, he can. Go away. I know you're not human. Not welcome. You're not welcome here. You're not human. It's time for you to leave. I heard a kid laughing again. It's not a real it kid. It sounded is it? closer this time too, like it was more clear. It's not a real kid, is it? Is it? It's not a kid. There's a kid laughing again. It's not a real kid. You're pretending to be a kid. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I cast you out. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like super Christian, but I just know that things that are of darkness, and if it is what I think that it is, saying things like Jesus Christ. And, Go away. And God. I'm done. <laughs> should make it mad. I don't think I'm loud enough. Rafe, can you hear me? Rafe, Rafe, if you can hear me. Rafe, Rafe, can you hear me? Rafe. Nancy. I don't think Rafe can hear me. <laughs> he would. Rafe, if you can hear me, Left. take your ears, open your ears. If you can hear me. <laughs> Sorry, there's cars going by, so I'm just testing it out. Rafe, if you can hear me, let me know. No? You should leave. Okay, you can't hear me. <laughs> Tell me your name. I'll leave if you tell me your name, your real name, not Smith. Smith is not your real name. Who brought you here, Smith? Smith? They who, did. Who is they? Who brought you here? The ones who something. The ones who something, I couldn't make it out. Can you repeat that? The ones who what? What do these ones do? I hear laughing again. I'm getting eaten alive here, man. I don't know, this is a really good SS method session though, so like, I don't want to keep you here. Bruh, I hope this is making any sense because I'm getting eaten alive. <laughs> oh, obviously. Obviously, it's making sense. Otherwise, Smith. I'm... Who is Smith? I'm gonna keep hearing Smith Who constantly. Is Smith? Who is Smith? Tell me your real name right now. Jesus Christ. In God's name. Light and love. In the name of the Father and the There's Son. There's the laughing again. And the Holy Spirit. I don't know much more than that, guys. I'm not like super Christian, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou shalt be done as Fuck it Fuck off. <coughs> Wait, no, this is kind of fun. You don't like that. You don't like Jesus Christ. I'm taunting shit that I shouldn't be. I know that. But you don't scare me. Lightness is always greater than darkness. Light and love surrounds Rafe. Light and love surrounds me. You cannot harm us. You cannot hurt us. You can play around, laugh and make all these jokes and taunt us and tell it us- It just got you. real quiet all of a sudden. There's no voices coming through now, man. Maybe I should take you out. Is this your last chance? Do you want to say one more thing? Okay, Bruh. I'll wait for this card. Oh, what was- can you repeat that? That was very, very faint, but I couldn't make that one out. I think I'm gonna take him out. <laughs> oh, dude. And? I was starting... fucking getting eaten alive is all I know, man. Jesus. I was starting... My ankles are just gonna swell. I was getting a little bit louder, so I was like, I hope you can't hear me, because originally when you first started, you were like, of course I can hear you. So I tried to lesson like right, I, as soon right as i said beginning. that i couldn't hear shit after um I but i tried to test box. it i was like rafe rafe if you can hear me let me know like and i was saying it quite loud so yeah. you couldn't hear shit but um so um there is something satanic here and I, I, it's telling you its name is smith i kept hearing smith and and, and nancy, there's a I lot think. of ch i don't know about nancy but smith is definitely something satanic that's a, that's not its real name 
and there's and it's masking itself as a child it's obviously not a child because it kept laughing it was talking about them or they yes. like something so like the ones or them or whoever brought this smith character whose name is not smith i kept trying i was i was demanding it to tell me its name because i'm like i know that's not your name and i know you're dark i know you weren't human all this stuff and then it started to get nasty. It's like, leave, you shouldn't be here. The ones brought me here, all this stuff. Really? We're going back and forth. Um, well, not the ones brought me here, but it said, like, I was like, who brought you here? And you're you like the ones or something like that. It was some, it was, it was all along those lines. And I, and I started going, I don't, I told the camera, I'm like, I don't know much. I, I went to Catholic school, so I, I know a little bit, but I'm not Catholic or Christian. Holy shit. Somebody brought a rice burner. Um, I'm not Catholic or Christian, so I don't know a whole lot. So I started fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, I Real like, praying. I was like, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and every, I, almost every fucking time, right? He'd be like, "Fuck off." Really? No, no. So you'd be like, uh, "Leave, get out of here." Like it didn't. Did I, or, I don't remember swearing. Or it would be like laughing. Those the time that you said "fuck off," I started saying the Our Father, what I knew of the Our Father, like Our Father. Who are they? Hallowed be thy name, or yeah, whatever. Somebody, I'm not even Catholic. And I when I when when I got to what I knew of it, what I thought I knew, you said "fuck off," and I was like the supposed man that's here yeah i wonder if it was something that maybe was conjured but he said in the spirit talker he was friendly yeah but you know, but I who knows and, and also that could have been how, someone else how many Nancy. how many times do spirits say that they're well i'm not saying not. anything demonic yeah. is here so don't quote me on this uh, right i would i but, would actually at this point say that there is but, something demonic here oh, fuck, i'm getting eaten alive man but i think that whatever's here my, is conjured my point is is that how often do they mask themselves as children or something safe yeah. to allow you to allow 100%. it in right yeah the, that was a weird conversation but did it make sense majority yes. Yeah, that's okay. why I kept you under. I've kind of come to the conclusion now from that S method session that there's something satanic I saw or something over there, something demonic that was conjured here, um, well, probably by a cult. I wonder or, if it was in this building. Or, it could have been. We wandered around. We were on camera with you guys while we were wandering the cemetery. It also could be like in that field. It, it might not necessarily be on. I don't like, and I don't think it's. Because here's this is hollow ground, so like it's, it's hollow ground. So there's yeah. nothing satanic where we are right now. However, I think something was conjured in the surrounding areas that is coming forth and there's, speaking. There's a possible. I want to. I want to see this Estes because yeah. there's a high possibility that could happen. The Estes was pretty crazy. I will say that my pant legs are getting wet. Oh, dude, it's my my feet are drenched. I just realized that my feet are absolutely drenched right now. If the answer to Krista's question is yes, cross the rods. If it's no, spread them apart. Is anything here with us? Are you here with us? What's your name? Are you buried here? If you want to answer yes to my question, you can cross these rods. Can you just show me you're here by crossing them, please? Did you hear that? I thought I can tell you that. Maybe I'm going crazy because the microphone's on. No, I'm hearing shit here. Is there anything over there? Who is here? My bad. I, my camera's gonna die. No. Nothing's really coming through the dusting rod, though. These are no, and they're only blowing because of the wind. Yeah. I don't think dousing's gonna work here. Okay, kill your camera and we'll shoot an outro over by the car. Okay. We're done at Salem Cemetery. Um, oh boy. Is it haunted? I don't know so much that it's haunted by somebody buried here. Was something conjured in and around this area? I would I, like to think so. I think we're kind of leaning more towards that. Especially based off of the fact that I heard everything that happened in that Estes. Yeah, see, I want to, I want to rewatch it, and I want to, I want to get figure that out for yeah. myself. But um, our camera's about to die. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. Drop some comments. Let us know what you think is going down in Salem Cemetery, because until I review the footage. I, kind of, I'm in the dark, yeah. legitimately, in so <laughs> many aspects here. Let us know what you guys thought about this episode. Give this video a big thumbs up. Smash the subscribe, subscribe button. button. <laughs> Turn on your post notification bells. You guys know the routine. I just saw a car light, like right there, and now it's gone. Just remember. <laughs> they're out there. Walking among us. We don't have to do this part because we'll do it in filler, but let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, that's it.
that's it for this episode. I'm sad. Why? Because it's over. <laughs> I don't want it to be done. But alas, that's <laughs> it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed the little tour through Salem Cemetery. Just turn on. Oh shit! Can you turn the light off, bruh? She's doing. She's something. trying to. Can you turn it off? All the way. Sorry, haunted doll. Sorry, the haunted doll's doing stuff that we I just got. Okay, we gotta finish okay. filming this. Sorry. We were sad because we didn't want the episode. Yeah, to but then the haunted doll made me happy because it did something. Guys, uh, we we hope you enjoyed the little stroll through the cemetery with us. I, I don't really have much to say this filler, which is odd, just because you know. Chris Thank God. Smash the like button. Hit that subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Drop some comments. Let us know what you thought of the stroll through <laughs> stroll English. through Salem Cemetery, and uh, just remember. They're out there. Walking among us. Stay, Stay spooky. spooky. Die. Do the wrong thing. Oh, uh, just remember. They're out there. Walking among us. Stay, Stay spooky. spooky. So my outfit of the day, jeans, t-shirt, sneakers, Dr. Scholl's, thank you very much. Guest backpack. Your fit check? Okay, tell them what you're wearing. Got a hat, t-shirt, my ripped shorts, a leg sleeve, and some cool kicks. Goodbye. <laughs>